guys. Mm-hmm. So, did you know I was thinking about football and zombies? <laughs> you dreamed about football and zombies? Yeah, you weird. Kid is weird. So, look who it is. What y'all say, cuz? I'm taking my top back. <laughs> Since I don't have to use it no more. Sharing is caring. Not when you only have one. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I've been up since 5. It's going on 7. And I've been working. So the Hubster and Aiden are about to get ready and go to work in school. I'm going to finish working. And um, I had this coffee this morning. It's pretty good. It wasn't as strong as I thought it was going to be extra bold it's, it wasn't as strong as the dark magic like to the taste so might have another one <gasps> it's got energy in it though <laughs> kind of feel it maybe a little bit probably take another one a little bit later so other than that that's about it child so it's still dark outside hasn't got quite late look at that it's crazy huh so talked to my mom this morning for about 45 minutes before she went to work so you know she's super excited she was like oh yeah that's good you work early because we can talk in the morning <laughs> you know i'm always up <laughs> no i might not always be up every this early <laughs> but i got enough sleep last night so i just got up say hey, here something bye guys good afternoon it is 11 oh actually good morning it's only like 11 20 and i am taking a quick break um i kind of like getting up working at five o'clock because like i got two hours that i have to put in now and that's it <laughs> and then i'll be done <sighs> i just was working listening to my music and the day went really fast I'm taking bubbles for a walk um because hubby didn't take her out this morning before they left because <clears throat> they had an early day so just got done with a meeting with my uh, manager so whoo y'all man <laughs> even though i'm doing the same thing that i was doing before this job is challenging very very challenging so just ate lunch and i had a turkey sandwich on some toasted bread it was bomb y'all <coughs> excuse me that cough so like I was saying that this job doing the same thing such a challenge and I knew it was going to be which is what took me so long to actually apply for the job because I think the job was open um, like earlier this year and I was like real skeptical because <clears throat> I'm like I knew it was going to be challenging um, but Sometimes you have to just step out of your comfort zone and just go for it. You know, sometimes you have to challenge yourself. I think sometimes when you when you uh, when you hit a challenge or come across a challenge, you know, it just makes you work harder and it helps you to grow as a person. Like you know, if you continue to stay complacent and just you know oh this is my comfort zone i'm not going to step out of outside of it i'm not going to do anything you know <clears throat> it can become tad bit boring you know and you know it just hinder you you know from reaching you know your full potential so when i saw the opening i was like okay i'm gonna go ahead and try it and it is what i thought it was <laughs> challenging but I think after the two months of training that we have, I think I should be able to, you know, hit the goals and stuff that they have for us. Um, the goals are just a lot more, uh, they just seem impossible. <laughs> it seems slightly overwhelming. Um, <clears throat> just hearing the numbers and the different things, you know, that we have to hit and, you know, what the expectations and stuff is. So, I'm working on it. 
as each day goes by, I am progressing. So that's a good thing. But I was just so nervous <clears throat> to take that challenge. But I'm kind of glad I did because I am learning more, even though I've been in this field for five plus years now. Um, I feel like I've learned a lot more in this new job than I've had in my old job, which is weird, you would think, you know, but it's more on you with an, in, a, in a new job, you know. So, um, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying the flexible schedule. Like I said, I got two hours. I'm about to uh, clock back in at 12, and I'll get off at 2. So, um, <clears throat> and I don't feel like tired, stressed, you know, like right now I'm like, cool, two more hours, I can get off and handle, you know, everything else that I need to do, you know, for the rest of the day. And my day is free, you know, so I do like that. And it didn't, it wasn't bad, <coughs> excuse me, getting up early this morning. My alarm went off at like 4. I think I snoozed it. No, I think I dismissed it. And then when I woke up, it was like 4.45. So I laid there for a minute. I was like, well, let me just get up and go. Because I was going to get on the computer when Hubby Nim left at 7. But I'm like, let me get up and knock out two hours before they even leave the house. So that's what I did. And so now I'm halfway done. But I just wanted to say, if you guys have a challenge and you are scared to like just step outside of your comfort zone do it don't hinder yourself don't hold yourself back just accept the challenge and i think you'll be happy it might be stressful or overwhelming in the beginning like it is for me but eventually i'm sure you would overcome <clears throat> and you know be able to beat the challenge you know we have to strive for better we have to push ourselves you know if you don't push yourself nobody else will you know you just have to be confident in yourself you know, and sometimes I'd be like, ooh, I don't think I could do that, you know. But you got to have confidence in yourself because if you don't, nobody else will, you know. So, whew, I'm taking this challenge head on, y'all. Pray for me, Lord. Pray for me, Lord. <laughs> whew, but, yeah, that's just all I want to say is rise to the occasion. Accept the challenge. So, getting up early is a plus, especially when you got things to do. Because I got off, wrapped all the gifts, and then I cleaned the bathrooms, both bathrooms, swept, mopped, and I'm just waiting for them to come home because I need to go to the store. I still need to pick up, um, I still need to pick up some tomatoes and I need to get something else I need to get y'all. And I forget. But you get a lot done when you get off early. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to edit. So, I'm going to video up for tomorrow for you guys. Since I'm home and I have time, maybe I can do put up a vlog every day. Maybe Monday, Monday through Friday. Um, try to do it. I don't want to speak too soon. So, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Mine was very productive um and i guess i'm gonna go and edit real quick so i can quit rambling for no reason you need 20 dollars for this is my drinking money for tomorrow night I'm trying to steal my money y'all to buy my gift she's gonna steal my own money to buy my gift here's some, here's some stuff Really? No, I'm not. <laughs> Aiden. Watch out, dude. You need some leggings, huh? So we're at Famous Coast. See any purses you like for Christmas? I know. That's the one that I had saw before and then it disappeared and I was mad. <laughs> I'm a good purse shopper, y'all. That you are. Yeah, buddy. I'm a good purse shopper. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what to get mommy. I had to take back some clothes that. Me too, guys. Were, I'm helping. Good job. That had a hole, and I didn't know if I used my Kohl's card. How about these? And I was only going to get like 12 bucks, but then she searched it and saw that I did use my Kohl's card. How about this, Daddy? Yeah, so I got $30. So I was like, sweet. I love that. How about this? What you want? This? A teapot? Yeah. Well, mommy's got a teapot. She's got a Keurig. Keurig? Yeah, we don't need a teapot. We got a Keurig. What else are we going to get in? Wait! Alright, y'all. It is bedtime. 
Uh, Aiden Hi, buddy. is. Where are you guys? So, uh, like he ain't got nothing else to do. Possible. And I watched him and see my little queen. I matched them. I love Dad and my little queen. He's just that. So he matched all the stickers together instead of leaving them all spread out like they're supposed to be like they were. He decided to put them all together, but that is it. So I'm off to bed. You say good night. Good night. All right. Peace. Peace. Good night, Bubbles. See you later. See you tomorrow in the morning. And then we shall see you in the morning. Uh, wifey's gonna get up early. I'm gonna get up early. She's acting like she's asleep. Getting on my nerves with her cough. You say good night. Good night, guys. Hope you guys had a wonderful Tuesday. <coughs> Time to call it a night. I'm trying to have an early day tomorrow. <laughs> so I can get the party together. Did you take your cough drops? Uh, no, good day right here. Need a cough drop. Really? What do you want to do? Open it and then put it in your mouth too? Huh? <laughs> Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Turn up. Good night, y'all. Beat the frog, folks.